What is going on, everybody? Uh, I'm just sitting around here, uh, and I figured what I'd do is give a little update on my Traxxas TRX4 and what I have going on. Uh, some of my crawl videos, um, things get switched up. Uh, I've been working on new things, and uh, I just haven't really shown everything all in one video of what's going on with my truck because I can get new parts in here and there. So it's kind of never ending, but um, I figured I'd just show you exactly what I have going on on the body right now and some other stuff that I'm working on. Okay, so uh, this is how the truck is sitting right now, and this is pretty much how I want it to sit. Um, as far as the body goes, um, I took the mirrors off of the Land Rover and I put them on here. I just cut the pieces off and screwed them on just like they go on the Land Rover body. I just drilled a little hole took my body reamer, reamed out the hole to fit the screw. They're on there pretty good. Uh, obviously you can see this big stack I added. I'm still a little unsure how I feel about it. Uh, you let me know what you think. I do have this 45 degree elbow here so I could make another stack if I wanted on the other side and go uh, dual stacks. But uh, I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe if you think I should go dual, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Or if you even like the single. Um, <clears throat> I, 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 I kind of like the single. I'm probably going to keep it. Um, the dual is an option. It does... Um, I think it would look okay. So I'm still unsure. So another thing I'm working on is this interior here. I got a Stone Cold Steve Austin. If you think this is the ass kissing of some you ever saw, give me a hell yeah! Target, and obviously I had to take him apart. Um, he's gonna sit somewhere like this. I'm not gonna use this piece I have here. I ordered more styrene and some styrene glue because I didn't have many supplies left, but I had this piece of styrene for some other things I made on here. So I was trying to make the interior. Uh, I got some new ideas, so that's gonna be coming. I'm gonna put a bench seat in. Um, gotta, I gotta get some foam. I gotta go to the craft store and get some things. But that's just uh, something I'm gonna be working on here in the future. Is it a little interior? So it will look somewhat like this. I'm gonna have a dash. I'll make a little center console so you can't see it has no legs if you look in from the uh, passenger side of the truck. So we got that going on. So we'll see how that comes. I'm not uh, very familiar with styrene or anything. That's all uh, new stuff to me, but I figured I'd try something. I need to get a, a driver in there. And I thought it looked funny when I put him in there on like this platform <clears throat> without any kind of dash. I just didn't think it was going to really look too good. So I'm definitely going to make up just an interior, even if it's not that great. It's something in there. Steve will hide it. So I'm going to paint him. I got some paint coming and uh, I got to paint a shirt on them because you know you can't be driving around without your shirt on that's just not cool so <clears throat> so coming to the bed here uh these are the accessories i got the arb fridge that's just a traxxas high lift that's a bundle of wood that i tried to make um it's not great i'm probably gonna wind up redoing it i got this little cooler it's just held on with magnets and that too and the fridge is held on with the magnets as well. I got this um, CB antenna. I found these little things that look like uh, springs in the craft store. I was just looking through stuff, I saw them. So I had to buy like a whole like bag of them, but I still think they were only $2 or so. So there's things I need to improve. Um, first off would be these bumpers. Let me show you here in the front. Uh, I could definitely run the narrow set on there. Uh, that's definitely um, the upgrade I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Scalar Fab. I think that they will have something really nice, a nice metal one. And I'll get the narrow one and I'll be able to get it on there. And then the wheels will be completely exposed here. So they'll increase the climbing ability even more. Because um, the bumpers, just raising the bumpers up really helped out with the crawling so i can imagine if i put a narrow bumper on there i won't have all this exposed space here so that will be really nice so let's show you the kind of how the stack would look if i were to put it on that other side so 
you know, that's how it's going to look. It's kind of tough because it's not painted. But you um, let me know in the comments if you think that I should go dual stack or you think the single stack is good. <clears throat> now in the back, I will, I'm not as worried about the bumper. Um, I did put this winch from the Traxxas bumper on the back because of that cutout. You can see it wasn't looking good in my videos. I cut this out by mistake um, and I wish I wouldn't have done that. I don't know what I was trying to do. So it is what it is. I'm stuck with that cut out there. I, I could fix it with some styrene patch. It, it would be way less noticeable, but I just put the faux winch on there. And you know what? I'm thinking about even putting a real winch on there because, you know, this is a power wagon. So it, it's it got to have all those kind of recovery type of goodies. It was a, a, wor a workhorse. So that's kind of what this thing is for me. <laughs> uh, so that's how the truck currently sits. So I just figured I'd show it with everything that I have got going on so far. This is how I want to run the truck. Um, there's really no other accessories that I'm thinking of doing as far as these little scale accessories. Maybe a chainsaw and some new wood or, you know, if I find some cool stuff with the magnets that are underneath there, I can just add them to the new pieces so I can switch it up. I don't want to put too much clutter in there. I want to to look good and it's an older truck you know the arb fridge these things are new but I, I i thought that it was you know it's pretty cool to look a little modern but yet uh still kind of be a little power wagon you know the stack obviously that's not something you would see uh originally on one of these but uh i'm gonna make some uh cummins uh cutouts soon i just gotta shrink an image down to trace a design on my styrene i got thinner styrene coming in so I'll be able to work on that uh, in the front. I got the wiper here I have to fix as well. This one's the sticker. I need some thinner styrene and I can remake this and I think I'll just paint them silver and I'll just put a little black edge that this one has. You can kind of see the detail on that there. So that's it. That's, you know, that's all I got going on in my power wagon here. Uh, I definitely do want to make some improvements to the body, um, but also improvements to the actual truck itself i definitely need a new steering servo this one is not doing so good uh i got some other things in the works um i will reveal in a later video i am currently waiting on some parts from uh hong kong so when those come i might be able to switch something up uh, i have some stuff laying around and i'd like to do something so i'm just waiting on some parts to see if i can get some things to fit so we'll see how that goes so just stay tuned in the future so like and subscribe please thank you